Hello, Nick. Oh, yeah. Hi, uh, you on the uh, Pro Israel demo, are you? Yeah, to support the Pro Israel demo. Well, who are you? Don't worry about who I am. Oh, there you go. If you're not going to tell me who you are, why should I talk to you? So uh, you probably know who I am anyway, but I uh, won't worry about that. But, uh, so did you support the mass murder in Palestine? You spent years supporting the Labour Party, you support it, so uh, is that what you're after? Killing kids? I assume you're here to observe one side or the other on this protest. So, uh, and you're obviously uh, the leader of a pro Zionist organisation. So, are you here? I know you've spoken out against the, uh, the murders in, pa in uh, Palestine, but are you. So, uh, why ask me the questions you just asked me then? Well, because you still might. Because you might say one well, thing publicly I'm... and oh, another thing okay. separately. You contradict yourself quite oh, a lot, and your organisation okay. does. So how comes your organisation is even a charity when you do proper political parties don't get um, yeah. charity status, but people that campaign against them do? Don't you think that's a bit unfair? Why is your podcast named after a violent political organisation, the 43 Group? Do you support political violence? answer your question so you can... Well I believe you do, I don't like to make assumptions but because you're not willing to answer I'm forced to make an assumption and you do. Okay. As Matthew Collins is he about? Oh, Dalek there, moving around. Sorry? It says Dalek there moving around. <sighs> I noticed on your uh, podcast, I can't remember who said it, but there was false claims about people fighting on the National Front Remembrance Day parade a few years back. Do you know why that claim was made? <laughs> I, I think it was Joe Mulhall. <laughs> Well, I thought this lot are meant to be the new Nazis now, aren't they? From what I've been hearing. I don't like to call people that. I think it's a childish name, but yeah. a lot of people are calling them that. I'm not surprised you don't like that name being used. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask you about some criminal activity your party's engaged in. Yeah. I've read uh, Joel Mulhall's book. And he was saying about attacking BMP and UKIP billboards in the 2010 um, general election. It was when he first joined you. That was one of his first tasks going out over, I think it was Dagenham. It could be Barking, but I'm pretty sure it was Dagenham. Destroying political campaign things. Is that what your charity does? Oh. I don't think people here would like to know that a Nazi is on the, on the demonstration. Are you trying? Are you trying to cause it to kick off, no, so you I'm can not. write in your little rag that that I kicked off? Because I've got this on video now. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying I'm surprised that. So if I get attacked in the near future, really, is that right? Then uh, I, I could rightly assume that you've got something to do with it. Uh, okay. so I'll tell you. Uh, I'll tell you my purpose for being here, because yeah. uh, I'm perfectly prepared to speak to you. I'm here to observe the demonstration. I'm not for it, and I'm not counter-protesting it. Although politically, I'm against it. I believe it would be a pro-Israel demo. So. I'm filming it to try and highlight that. Okay. Also, I feel that they've been just as disrespectful, if not more respect disrespectful, than the Muslims have towards the cenotaph and things like that. <sighs> nice little selfie there. <laughs> Walking down the road, road with uh, Nick Lowell's. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not reporting to him or anything. National Front either. That's it, there's lots of uh, people here that probably would have something against me and would like to kick off, and he's trying to highlight that. I've mentioned the organisation he's with, but only when it was me and him, not in front of other people. Oh, thank you, Colin. Enjoy your Zionist hate rally. See you later, Nick. Oh, look, you're scared to go through there? Well, I'll come with you if you want. No, I don't want you anyway. It looks like I've been invited through. I was, uh, was going to walk away, but I've been accused of being scared. 
No, actually, I won't go. It's not a matter of being scared. It's a matter of not wanting to cause, cause trouble. I don't think people want to know that National Front leader is here filming. Well, why are you telling them then? Well, I don't think people want you here. I don't think people want the leader of the National Front. Oh, you do know who I am then? Of course I know who you are. You're a leader of the National Front, oh, so go away. I'm with you. Now you thought you was being clever, pretending you didn't know who I am. You're a leader of the National Front, go away. You're a leader of the National Front, go away. You're a leader of the National Front, go away. And here you have the leader of Hope Not Hate go away. supporting you, a pro-Israel rally when he's going to be against them. You're a leader of the National Front, go away. You're the leader of the National Front, go away. I'm on the King's High Road and I won't go away. You're the leader well, I will of the... go away eventually, obviously, but I won't the... go away just You're the leader this of the National me. Front, go away. No one wants you here, you're the leader of the National Front. And you're the leader of a communist organisation. You're the leader of the National Front, go away. No one wants... And here you have it, hope not hate are disrupting the Jewish rally for Israel that's taking place now. You're the, lead, you're the leader of the National Front. People do not want I was perfectly here. prepared to anonymously film it, but silly boy here is trying to disrupt their no, rally. He's the leader of the National Front. I really don't think people want him here filming people. Yeah, the issue is there's nothing in place. Well, nothing make sure. Here. I'm, I'm, Thank you very much, thing, officer. There's also nothing legally stops him filming anymore. Sure, sure. Now, I appreciate that might upset some people, but he has a right to be like other sure. people. Sure. As long as no disturbances cause, I have no reason to get involved, you know what I mean? And if so, anyone is upset, they'd be upset at the fact you've told them rather than me just being here filming because I wasn't prepared well, going you, to make you my presence known. being a Zionist and in, and in favour of killing babies. That's what you said on your, on your tape. You said that me being here is in favour of killing babies. Yeah, indirectly. <laughs> hey, you didn't say indirectly. Well, I'm saying indirectly now. I don't, I don't think you two are going to agree. I didn't say directly so, before. He's followed me around. He's followed me all the way with a camera in my face. Okay. No, most of the time I was following you discreetly when you tried to hide in the pub. Uh, to be honest, I'm not particularly interested in a little bit of an argument about these things. Um, yeah. Thanks very much, officers. Anyway, I'm off now. I don't want to spend too much time with this fella. Right. Take care, Nick. Try, and, try not to incite any more violence with your 43 Group podcast. Thank you.